All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving our thoughts. We have the official release date now for the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon spinoff series. Also, some first look uh, preview images that have just been released. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. So, this series is going to premiere on September 10th, 2023. So, it's going to be a September 10th. Uh, release date for the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon spinoff series and uh, I'm pretty excited for it. This will be sort of our Walking Dead fall series this year. It sounds like the Rick and Michonne spinoff series I think is going to be um, shown in 2024. I think it's going to be pushed into 2024. And this is season one for the Daryl Dixon spinoff series. I think it's six episodes so far as uh, I know from the pilot and everything. Usually AMC does their pilot uh, seasons, first seasons is six episodes. Like Dead City is also six episodes, which is currently airing. And, um, you know, we'll be wrapping up in a couple of episodes here. So this gives the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon the big fall uh, premiere. Um, you know, a, a date, which is uh, which is good for it. Um, you know, going to be cool to see Walking Dead on. You know, each year in the fall, we kind of look forward to a new season of the original Walking Dead television series. This year, it's going to be the Walking Dead uh, Daryl. This one for me, like after seeing the trailers, there's a couple of trailers for it. And uh, one of the recent ones, I think, is Daryl being like branded. It's kind of <laughs> kind of spooky and strange. Uh, AMC uploaded it, so it's a little little weird, but um, you know, it's cool. Um, with, with the Rick and Michonne series being a 2024 release, we'll likely see Dead City wrap up in a couple weeks here. Then uh, Walking Dead Daryl uh, premiere in September, a couple months from now. And then um, we'll likely see the ending for Fear of the Walking Dead probably in October or November, something like that. Uh, to see its final six episodes, I think is all that's left for Fear of the Walking Dead, and then Fear of the Walking Dead is uh, is over, and uh, then there's also continuing after the Rick and Michonne spinoff series. I think Dead City's been given a second season. I think the Daryl spinoff series will also get a second season. I think it will, but um, there is also the writer strike which is going on right now in um, in Hollywood. It's been going on for a little bit, so that's going to really delay. Uh, any second seasons that are being written for any of these series. So with the Writers Guild, the writer strike going on, unless that ends soon, and it doesn't sound like it's going to, you know, you're going to see uh, the second seasons for all these spinoff series likely delayed, maybe, who knows, I don't know, six months a year or something like that, because none of the writers can write anything. So uh, that's, a, uh, that's a problem, uh, unless they have everything already in the bag ahead of time or something, and, you know, usually not the case. Usually it's like, yeah... Uh, so you're going to see some delays. It'll also affect other series too that you're into, uh, movies, things like that. You know, all, all entertainment mostly. Uh, the writer strike is going to have an impact on. But I think it'll get a second season. Let's take a look at the uh, preview uh, pictures for it. So here we have Daryl, and um, you can see him here. I think it's France is uh, where all all these uh, first look pictures uh, take place in. So here we have him here, kind of looking. Similar to what we're used to for, you know, for Daryl. Uh, nothing, nothing different about his look from here versus Walking Dead. Uh, looks basically the same to me. Uh, minus a crossbow, no crossbow. Uh, not in this one anyway. Uh, but we'll see for some of the other ones. And you can see, uh, you know, some of the buildings back here. Some of the uh, 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 brickwork and so on. Yes, you can call it bricks, stonework, I guess. Um, it's going to be cool to see what we can think of as like the old world as it's referred to. Europe kind of being the uh, the old world with all the, you know, its history and, and different uh, locations and castles and buildings and everything. Locations from, you know, Normandy and, and everything for all the wars and everything. Going to be really cool to see a Walking Dead, um, you know, Daryl series in this uh, location. Feels like an adventure series to me. And I think there's some different articles that have alluded to that, that that's what it's going to be like. Uh, here we have just a close-up of him here. Um, not much to say, you know, basically the same as usual for Daryl, I think. Uh, here we have him, and is he down at crossbow in this one? Not sure. Kind of looks like some something like that. Uh, <laughs> something, something like that. Big explosion here. Some walkers getting torched. Awesome. <laughs> it's a crossbow uh, rocket launcher. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know how, what, what exactly is that. It's a crossbow that shoots, that shoots uh, I don't know, RPG uh you know okay i don't know let's move on um anyways it's a cool it's a cool picture right so here we have some of the uh the gals from um the branding i think 
Is he going to get involved with some kind of a cult here or something? Uh, sure are lots of those in, in Europe. So, <laughs> so uh, not much more to say about that one. Just uh, some sisters here. I, I don't know. We'll see. This guy looks like a villain to me. What do you guys think? Uh, I feel like uh, I have no idea what his name's going to be or anything. Maybe it's out there. I'll have to look it up and find out. He kind of looks like, um, you know, I don't know what, like a Bane type character. You guys get like a like a Tom Hardy Bane type of vibe from this guy. Maybe it's the jacket, something like that. Uh, but maybe our villain for the uh, first season. Who knows? I'm just saying just based on this look. Uh, if you have a tattoo, if you have a tattoo on your face, you're probably a villain. What, what do you guys, is that a stretch? Is that a stretch? Fair enough. <laughs> so I uh, like it. Really cool. And um you know, looks like uh, looks like a good villain, uh, Frenchy villain. Yeah, uh, maybe lots of uh, lots of French characters. This actress, um, I forget the, uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, they uh, they posted it before she was cast for it. And we'll see, ally, good guy, ally, probably for Daryl. The language thing is going to be a bit strange, right? Because Daryl's going to have to quickly learn how to speak speak French, otherwise he's not going to be able to communicate with anybody. Um, although a lot of them can speak English too, right? So that's fine. Okay, so here we have him walking with, uh, yeah, I'm thinking allies here, right? Uh, horse and uh, carriage and uh, some of the other characters around, which I'm sure we'll get to know. One thing that's weird about the spinoffs, and the same thing is with uh, Dead City, um, we really don't see a lot of the characters from the original Walking Dead series crossing over into these crossovers. It's really like you get, you know, one or two, like Negan and Maggie for Dead City, and uh, new characters... Maybe you have one come back here or there once in a while for a flashback or something, and that's cool. But uh, like the Daryl spinoff as well, too, I am surprised they didn't include more of the original characters in uh, the spinoff series, you know, because the other one's Rick and Michonne, right? So, like, what about all those other characters back there? Carol, everybody else. Um, although there are some rumors maybe we'll see Carol in the uh, Daryl spinoff series at some point, so hopefully we will. But yeah, pretty much all new characters for the, pretty much for Dead City, all new characters for Daryl spinoff series, mostly all new characters. Maybe that means for the Rick and Michonne spinoff that we probably won't be seeing uh, too many other notable known characters uh, there. You're going to be looking at mostly new characters for the most part. Now here we have, what is he, what is he using here? Some kind of a uh, crossbow of some kind or something? I don't know. Uh, that's cool either way. And she's got a bow and arrow. This guy here at the right side looks like he's dressed up as some kind of a zombie or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe a whisper vibe with makeup or something. I'm not sure. Something like that. Should be good, though. Uh, so that's what we got for the preview uh, pictures, guys. Uh, September 10th, mark off your calendars. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon spinoff series. Different, um, you know, comments for this one from the trailers. I think it looks awesome. I think it's going to be really cool to get to see Europe in the Walking Dead uh, universe where we see variant zombies, different types of zombies for Daryl to fight. Um, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see, tune in to see. Uh, I have had a few people say they think it looks a little bit boring, and I, I kind of understand to a degree because you are focused just on on Daryl. So if, if you're not a huge Daryl fan, maybe you won't like it. Um, it is kind of a, unfortunate that they couldn't have more of the characters from the original series kind of cross over uh, with, with, you know, like like continue continue on into um, some of the spinoff series. But they're so limited with the roster uh, compared to the original series. Like, you don't see many back from the original series as current characters in these uh, spinoffs so far. So, but who knows? That, uh, that could change, I guess. But, yeah, they didn't keep many on from the original series to continue into these spinoffs. I would have thought they would have used more of them, but because they have a lot of really well-developed characters there, but hardly anybody. Anyway, uh, that's it for uh, this quick video, guys. Uh, look forward to September. And uh, if you like the video, before you leave, don't forget to thumb up, uh, share uh, at the bottom, subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, it's Trav. Same piece later, guys. See you soon.